Hello, ladies and gentlemen, nerds, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Passage of Skin. Today, we're checking out Claws, which was a demo that showed up on the PS4 network today. And I want to take a quick look in the options here and see what there is. Uh, music, SFX, vibration, language. Doesn't seem to be that much here, so on to the controls, I suppose. And simple enough controls. Well, speaking of controls, this game does say this experience uses the touchpad, so I'm not too sure exactly how that goes in, but it says here that you select platform? What? Right, let's get into this game here and see what happens. New game! I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I just woke up in this basement with the word claws written on my arm. And the clouds has turned red. Red of the death of the man who wears it. Oh, okay. Interesting art style. <gasps> well, Mr. Elvis looking gentlemen, you're in a world of pain and white noise. Let's begin our exploration, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> So basement floor, chapter one, the unknown man. So basic jump functions, uh, got a bit of wall jumping going on, can double jump. Yeah, okay. So, hmm, yes, hmm. He's about as intrigued as I am. Uh, this reminds me, visually, even though it's a more elaborate and detailed, to very much a kind of a, I, Thomas was alone kind of thing. It's a platformer. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, this is this is kind of nice. Nice use of the touchpad. Um, I would honestly love to see this maybe as a co-op game. Do you want know to remind me a lot of actually? Does any of you guys? Well, uh, who here is old enough to remember Gyromite on the NES? Anyone? Anyone? Leave a comment if you remember Gyromite, because Rob is your best friend. Um, the idea of it being a two-player game would probably, is, is what makes me think this, but the touchpad controls are a, that momentary awkwardness for, um, pausing your movement to actually go on, so you can't really, um, oh crap, <laughs> you can't really, um, uh, maintain control of both things at once in a way, which is, uh, interesting little fault, well, not really a fault, um, still not, I'm not seeing the major challenge in any of this. Although, admittedly, of course, these are tutorial levels, so what am I trying to say? Uh, I mean, no matter what, it's going to be easy on the first level. So that's me and the exit out, right? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to find someone else out it but our guy. Okay. Um, well, hey. So I can see this is actually just being a kind of positioning puzzler. Um, I'm liking the art style. The music's wonderfully creepy. Um, the dude is self-aware of my assistance, which is weird. The idea that we're actually like, we're essentially being, we're controlling him, but yet we're also like observing him and he's observing us as well. So that hack in the console so we can get into it. There's like an elaborate puzzle. Oh, ah, come on. Right. <laughs> Pay attention. Look out for spikes. So, blocking that. And that means we can go down. Yay! Hmm. Right, come on. This, it, the, the pace of the game does feel a bit oh, slow. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't put that there. Right. We're blazing it back down. Let's get through this. Um, oh, you don't take any fall damage, which is good. I was a wee bit worried there. Ah. Okay. At least this isn't... Oh, come on! I honestly thought I was going to make that jump that time. Right, wait for it. Safe and sound and across. There we go. Right. Let's get that thing going. So, the... Let yeah, me jump on top of that. So... The, the artistic stuff... Oh, Jesus. The jump is quite floaty, I have to admit. It's one of those things where it just feels a little bit uncontrollable supposed to be the word for it in a way um, it makes me feel that little bit awkward when I'm jumping but the art style is really enjoyable Whoa. what the fuck 
Oh, apparently we've been sucked into an alternate dimension. Left. Well, what about left? I'm going left. You told me to go left. Hey, move that stuff. Yay. Wait, hang on. What? I can't go any other direction? Okay. So they took away all of their functions of my ability to move and just replaced me with left. Alright, well, I can get over this now. Oh, uh, uh oh. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> well, suicide. I get it now. Uh, so you can only use left to actually um, maneuver through this level. It's uh, almost like um, a test skill puzzle. So, yeah, if I move this, well, no. I need to get up onto that. Unlock that. I'll need to move this back a wee bit and drop him down and push him back. So essentially it's a way of like manipulating a person's movement through the level because you're essentially playing as the both sides, the platforms and the person. That makes sense, I like that. That's a nice touch. So move that back over there. Jump. Take you along with. Jump. Okay. So this is actually um I, th this is actually something that I've I've, I've thought of before. Uh, a limited control system that essentially means that you have to manipulate the world. I, I've always seen these kind of things done where the, the there's an auto run going on. This game definitely, definitely reminds me a lot of Gyromite. It's mad how much it does remind me of that game. Um, just from the moving door puzzles and everything else around it. This is a massive throwback to a really old NES game, which, to be honest, a lot of people didn't really get to play whenever Origin came out. Okay, find part of a car. Jesus! Well, tripping balls along with it on the way out. That, see that little bit of paper? Must be nasty. Just telling you, those trips, man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, but we giggle to yourself, man. You're gonna die. <laughs> right. The, this feels much more um, Super Meat Boy slash uh, Thomas Was Alone in this part. And then the very, very restricted movement puzzles feel like Jeremite and the door movement. This is a really nice... Ooh. Um, right, now you're starting to make me think it's like um, Out of This World or another world. Oh, wow. That was kind of a bad... A good, good kind of trap. Reminds me a lot of Venom Plus as well. There's so many little, little, little tweaks of this game that remind me of other games, you know? It's a platformer and it's... Oh. It's a platformer in in full-on style. Ooh, that was a nice jump. It um, takes a lot of elements from a lot of older games and does them well in implication or application. Ooh, ah, uh, damn it, missed that jump again. Ah, uh, screw it, just might as well die. This is cool. Uh, it's weird. It's, it's so weird to see games still innovating within the platformer space because you think, have we done every single one? Okay. Where the fuck that was? Um, it's weird to see games actually uh, innovating inside a game style that has been a standard for so long to actually still see a little bit of difference. But of course, they're gonna, it, they're, it has, it's gonna have to make references because every single game has been done at some point in this style. Um, so to take the elements of a few of them and put them together really well, that's the, that's a, its own little bit of mag magic, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Um, I, mean, I can get across that now. But now I've got to get through here. Um, can I make it through that gap? Can I run through? Nope. <laughs> right. Um, how are we doing this then? Well, that needs to be brought back to cover those anyway. Alright, that middle one is really, really slow. So, I'm taking the opinion that I could probably make it past the gap of that. And then, jump across here. Hey, sorted. Oh, what the hell is that thing that's running in the background? It is a bit creepy. Another secret! I got the key, I got the secret, I got the key to the ma -da -ma -ma -ba -da. I got the key. Learn? Learn what? 
So many questions, no answers. There's so much to discover. Knowledge. Right? Um, no return. Ha! <laughs> Even the letters kill me. That's pretty cool. Alright, so over here. Can I go through the walls? Can I go through the roof? That's a long jump to make. I'm not too sure where I'm meant to go in here. There's no platform to be controlled, and I can make a pier. Well, there's a. I don't know if I can make it up there, it'll be easy enough. So I'm. I mean, I'm not going to be able to make that jump. You can't double jump that far, can you? Oh, come on, there must be someone around here that I can do. Are the spikes dangerous? Well, they're red as well, but... Maybe... You know, can't go through these gaps in the roof. All my questions are, where the hell is, do I get out of this room? it doesn't seem to be an exit of any sort and I can't die and drop myself out of it. Ow. Well, definitely spikes kill. Alright, let's see. Can we do the jump? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, knowledge is power. <laughs> How clever of... Ow. That is very, very clever. So, knowledge is power. Feel. Think. Create. So this game is actually trying to do a um, psychological kind of uh, study of the character that we're playing as, or is this to us as the player? Because it seemed to be prospectively unaware for this guy to take part in them. Or is this him talking to us even? Because all the text so far has been his dialogue to us. Discover, explore, find knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Acknowledged. Well, I mean, it's an interesting take to see the world with many eyes. <laughs> All right, so um, one single man amongst the crowd. Okay, so each of these things seem to have a slightly different animation in between them as well. So I'm assuming that'll bring the whole picture together. Um, helpfully, or hopefully, bringing together this mystery of who Klaus is and what, why you have that name on your arm. Uh, I got this. <laughs> yeah, fall jumps, fall jumps. I've got this. Oh, there's a locked door. Yeah, <laughs> exactly as I figured. Sneaky key. You sneaky son of a bitch. Jump across here. Yep. Well, the pile drivers don't seem to be really that dangerous. Jumpity jumpity jump jump. So yeah, the um, the game doesn't feel too difficult. I mean, obviously these are tutorial levels. They're basic levels. I'm assuming that they will get infinitely more hectic and will actually require you moving three objects at once or positioning things so that you can bounce in the right way. Glitch World, Chapter 2. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, Glitch World. Um, to me, this relates into his thing about hacking consoles, that this dude is actually like a coder or programmer. Maybe it's maybe a reference to game development in its own self. I don't know. Oh, missed that jump. Yep, there we go. Got it. And around the other way. Boom. Done and dusted. I do like the music, the music's getting a little bit kind of like chiptune glitchy noise going on. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Right, easy enough. Put you there. And you can't go anywhere. <laughs> gotcha. So, Glitch World Chapter 4. Over my dead body. Ooh, there's no. Oh, alright. Over my dead body, use the body itself to make it onto the next platform. Oh, very clever. How oh, very, very clever. Right, let's continue these jumps on. Ooh, ooh, nope. Oh, well, I need to use multiple bodies to get there. And we continue on into the next room. Sweet, easily solved. 
Right, so what do they want me to do next? I'm tired of this. Electric Floor, Chapter 5, Freedom. Okay, I'm not controlling the guy, by the way, here, folks. He's walking on his own. I... I might... I'm just gonna keep him alive? Ooh! This is so reminding me of Jaramite, because they're actually... Like, whenever you're playing Jaramite with uh, Rob, because he was, like, so delayed reaction to his controls... Ooh! Shit! Uh, I'm not gonna make it this one. He was so delayed reaction to his controls where he had to turn and move to pick up things and put them down again. Like, you couldn't... You had to actually almost, like, auto-run the character and just let them just roll on and just try and time your movements. Um, unless you were cheating and using your big toe to play it. <laughs> but, yeah, the, um... The... Ah, it's sweet. I was actually kind of close. But the uh, auto running or auto moving in this is like, it's almost like an auto play level of Mario Maker, you know? Um, which some people like, some people hate. I, I can go with or without them. But this is actually kind of fun. Kind of like get the timings right and just block them off whenever you need to. <laughs> Could have been doing a wee dance there for a wee second before I got across. But he wants to make his own choices, but he sadly can't. Well. Yeah, you make that choice. Go on ahead, lad. Let you go down here. Oh, well, look, I did go down here because it's a secret. It's ripped apart and torn into those portals. It sounds so horrible. It's, it does sound like he's like being folded inside himself. Intelligent. Fear, fear, fear. To see behind the walls. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I probably should have paid attention to that. So, uh, yeah. I can move through these bits. See behind the walls. All right. So some are walls, some are not. Don't know what that zappy was, but I'm not going to let myself fall into it. All right. Oh, no, can't climb up there. So, oh, no, neither there. Down to the bottom then, work our way across. So I'm liking these um, puzzle-esque kind of levels where they sometimes take away controls from you or make you do something a little bit differently. But um, this one's probably been the simplest of them all because it's actually just remembering to be on the alternate platforms. Yeah, I can slide in there. Oh, all right, so I can... Uh, <laughs> feel, 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 fail. Right. Okay, so that was something to do with his mind expanding, expanding his consciousness, you know, man? Like, tripping and seeing the world for what it truly is. Just a series of walls, man. Just... Like a big series of walls keeping us apart, you know? I mean, man, just trying to feel, you know? Boom, boom. Right, so what else have we got? It's here. What is this? I'm finally free! Oh, shit, no! No, 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 no! The light says claws? But claws? Okay, so I had no control over that situation. I couldn't stop them. And here we have the birth of an Electro. <laughs> Spider-Man! Either he gets the power of super speed or he became electro. Either way, I'm not too sure. Well, I couldn't really stop him there, so not much I could do. <laughs> so what do we do next? Lakosa. Have we restarted the game? Right. It's a little bit different than it was. A little bit faster. Well, I suppose let's start again. Oh, right. <laughs> you had me going there, Klaus. You had me going. Oh, you sneaky bastard. So this is showing us a little bit more of the deeper gameplay. So, yep. Um, some of the levels we already know. Oh, catch the keys. And, of course, grab your secrets and teleport into other places. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, so you get, like, a big bulky... That's who that guy is behind the wall. It's a big bulky version of yourself. All right, so that's the same thing with, like, the cloned versions of yourself. There's actually, like, a big Jekyll and Hyde-esque kind of thing going on here. And um, that makes sense whenever you control switch player or switch character. So you control both of them at the same time. So this is, this is actually, like, taking 
platforming, gyromite, um, brothers, uh, Thomas was alone, a little limbo-esque kind of silhouette stuff. It's Klaus! Yeah! I, I don't have any more words to use for this. It's Klaus. It's out now. It's um, an amalgamation of so many games. Uh, if you're a big fan of platformers in any way, shape, or form, I recommend giving it a try. Um, I've had a really good time with the first 15-20 minutes. I'll probably check out the full game myself. And I um, hope you guys will come back and check it out here on Pastiche of Skin for more than a first 15 minutes. Because I really enjoyed this game. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all the many other things. And share the shit out of this channel. Because I love you all. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.